What is going on guys? Today we are going to answer a question that I keep getting asked is does tire truing actually work? Let's find out. So before we get into the science of whether a tire truing is worth it or not, let's talk about what tire truing actually is. So tire truing or aka tire shaving is basically a, imagine your tire on a wheel balancing machine, but on the very end of where that tire is rotating there is a giant blade or a decent sized blade strong enough to cut through the rubber of your tire. The design is to completely shave down any imperfections of the tire, pretty much making your tire completely round again. Obviously, if you're running an AT tire, an MT tire, an RT tire, chances are if you're not properly rotating or you know monitoring very closely the air pressure in your tires, there's a good chance that these tires with a lot of highway use are starting to get some imperfections, which is going to lead to you know lack of balancing, it's going to lead to some vibration. So all in all, the goal is if you shave these tires back down, you know, round them out again and you pretty much have a brand new tire back on your vehicle. Of course, you can't do this with a tire that has no tire tread left, but in my case, I still have quite a bit of tire tread left. I'm getting quite a bit of an aggressive vibration now at about 70 to 75 to 80 miles an hour. So I wanna to try to clean that up and we're gonna find out if it actually works. All right, well, picked up the truck late last night and uh, haven't had an opportunity to put on the highway where that was my original concern was how the truck was going to commute on the highway after the tire truing process was I going to get a better ride and ultimately was I going to eliminate the vibration that I had prior to me taking the truck in now on initial ride driving inner city to give you an example the tire shop that I got this done on Champion 4x4 it's only about two and a half miles from my house so I didn't have to commute very far after the fact but I did drive it around a little bit in the city and I can tell you at slow speeds and just kind of using my butt gauge the actual commute is a lot smoother almost back to when I first bought these tires I remember when I first put on these RTs versus my uh, at the time pretty worn out empties the ride quality was like I was in a truck that I couldn't even recognize. Now, am I saying that this is exactly the same as when they were brand new? Absolutely not. But a very near comparable ride quality at a very slow speed, you know, just cruising anywhere between 30 to 50 miles an hour on standard streets. Just if you're focusing on how the truck is kind of just coasting onto the road, it's a lot smoother. That's for sure. Now, of course, my truck is going on three years with this lift kit, um, a rough country lift kit. It's got a leveling kit on top of the lift kit. So if I'm factoring in how the truck is bouncing and stuff like that, that's different. But just how it coasts on the streets, um, it is it is pretty freaking smooth. I wanted to say the tires were a little bit quieter since the change. Now, keep in mind, if your tires are starting to wear uneven and that wind or air that's traveling through the tire uh, tread patterns starts to get you know re readjusted based on you know the way the tire is grooved um, you may start to get some more road noise now in my case these tires weren't particularly loud they are louder than what they were when I first initially bought them um, which is to be expected they have you know over a year of wear on them at this point and mainly highway use so those are all to be expected I would say it's probably a little bit quieter but not anything worth noting i think the biggest note right now so far is just how smooth it is just on the actual street on you know normal cruising speeds um it almost has a sedan like uh ride quality right now with these rt tires so we're gonna get on the highway we're gonna test that out that's where we want to know is it better is it not um and i'll do some comparisons i recorded a, a screen grab right before i took the truck in i got it on the highway um put a water bottle in the cup holder and just kind of recorded the vibrations of the water bottle if the change is substantial enough we'll show what it looks like if not we'll just use my uh, my butt gauge as my review so for the final test it's just some science 
Um, I originally, before I took the truck in the day before, I went ahead and put the same water bottle here. Yeah, I'm getting on the same exact highway now. Got the truck up to about 70, 75 miles an hour and kind of recorded it. I looked at the footage, it's a little hard to notice some of the vibrations that are coming from the truck. Um, but hopefully with this recording now, the truck has been uh, tire shaved or tire trued, we might see a difference. Now I'm at about 55 here, getting up to speed. This old heavy Chevy is a little slow, 60. Now I will say just from the butt gauge, the truck is riding a lot better. I'm about 68 miles an hour now. I'm at 70 here. Water bottle definitely has far less dancing. The truck is starting to shake a little bit, but I am behind another truck, so I'm getting their draft. There's far less response on the road now, far less vibration. I don't think the water bottles are really going to tell you the differences, but just from driving, I can definitely note a pretty substantial change in the truck's behavior, just in the way that it's riding. A lot less vibration. Of course, like I mentioned in the previous clip, the suspension's got some age on it. The shocks more than likely if i go with a coilover system it'll ride a lot better but all in all all i was trying to do was really just repair the vibration that i was getting from lack of balancing and i definitely think uh the tire truing definitely did the job